Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays High Queen Kalita in Immortal Empires. We're just getting started here with our campaign, 75 turns, turn 4, and so far we've been doing okay, but I have reservations now that we've encountered Ironbrow. I definitely want to keep Ironbrow and Krokgar in my good graces. I have not yet found Krokgar, I don't think, but... It would be good for me to not make an enemy of Iron Brow if I can avoid it. So his starting... Okay, so he's got tolerance towards me, but then he also has aversion. So we're neutral. We're not friends. Iron Brow. Part of me... You I don't normally do this, Iron but Pink. like... I'm listening. I wonder if I should give him a small gift to just eh. like I, I know this is just throwing money away but again I want to I don't want to make an enemy, enemy of him because he can he can really hurt me if he comes at me hard so I'm going to just yes. just gonna give him a gift we're going up he likes that so that's what we like to see and I could afford it it's not it's not like I'm in dire straits or anything. I say that now, but my income's 275, so, you know. Alright, I have this unit that I need to worry about. I mean, they're both replenishing, but I think I probably can continue my trek. If I stay in my own territory, I will still replenish a little bit, and I'll get closer to... Mahrok. And let's see, why did I get into there? I don't remember. Oh no, I'm looking at my stances. I think I'm going to channel magic. Winds of magic. And I think that's about all I can do with my turn other than just... Again, I keep checking diplomacy, but I really don't... I don't know people. I don't want to be friends with Mordkin. Because he's mad at Krokgar. Don't want to be friends with Arachnos because he's mad at Ironbrow. And Corn. I don't care about Corn. I just will have to be careful because if Scarbrand gets rolling right away, he could come through this pass and then I'll be in trouble. So we'll have to be aware of that. But early on, the turns are pretty short. There's not a ton that you need to do. We'll see if he pops up a lord at Marok. I don't know where he's at. He might be at Lamia. That's the big capital building. And that's the one that I want. So. Oh. He, yeah. He just brought his whole army here. So this one could be a bit of a challenge if I just attack it. Should I take Granite Massif? There might be Skaven there. That's the other thing to be aware of. Asap smiles on us. Now, I did want one of these. Was it this one? Base missile damage. Yeah, I was going to do that so I could beef up my ranged units. Should I surround Mahrak? As far as I know, Granite Massif is empty. Decisions, decisions. I don't think he could get to Resetra in one move. So if I come to Granite Massif, I will be tired in battle for one turn. But I think that's okay. And then I could beef up Doom Glade. And now I have. Like, zero cash. This also gives me one more turn to get fully replenished in my army. Should I get one more Nehekara warrior, though? I don't even know if I could... Oh, no, I can't. This would be global recruitment. Don't want to do that. Bow to me, me. 
Alright, so we're getting closer with Iron Brow. Gotta make up for that aversion penalty. But I don't have much money left to give him. I need to take on this guy. What's his name? Liesel? He wasn't the main guy, though. Or maybe he was. I don't know. It is interesting fighting the vampire counts because they have a lot of similarities to the Tomb Kings and that they're both undead. And they don't flee. They just disintegrate and crumble. All right, he's still in Force March stance. I'm not really sure why. But we're going to we're going to see if we can make him come out on the field of battle. Says Empiric <laughs> Victory and I will lose pretty much everybody, which I do not want to do. It's already a field battle, but maybe I can attrition him down. I'm not as confident fighting with her on the map yet, so that's where I I'm just being careful. And they want peace, but I want Lamia more than I want peace, so. The other thing is I don't think I can recruit any lords. I cannot. I need my dynasty, which is going to be another eight turns. And that's not even giving me... That's not even giving me the lord. So. That's cool. And I need 20 canopic jars, which I don't have yet, so. <laughs> Gonna have to be fighting some battles. I need income. I need canopic jars. I need more lords for more armies. All right, so is he just gonna let me siege him? That's weird. Cause he's taking heavy casualties. Here at victory, and this time I don't lose any of my units. That's really funny. All it took was just one turn of small attrition. That's very strange. Um, but I have time, right? Or do I? that's the other thing is I don't I don't know this is one that I don't know if I want to fight it because there's a lot of mobs and my army is not that good so I'm just gonna continue to encircle Jason would probably be like oh you need to fight this and I think I watched a video one time and legend was like if you if you circle then you're not a good player and I don't know. Guess I'm not a good player then, because that's what I like to do. So, whatever. I'm not ashamed of it. I am just curious that he stayed in Forced March stance, though, because once he was in the settlement, he could have changed his stance. So I don't know if the AI just didn't... wasn't programmed to do that or what. It seemed strange. But I don't know, maybe Undead can't be tired. I, I mean, that can't possibly be true, right? Oh, no, not negative growth. Guys, come on. Close victory with medium casualties. I'll wait like a couple more turns and then I may end up auto-resolving it. I'm not sure yet. I just, I, like, with these new factions, I'm just scared. How are we doing with Iron Brow? We're still improving, but our tolerance, or our, our gifts, is, it keeps going down. Oh, I have discovered Krokgar. He's more willing to be my friend than Iron Brow is. Surprisingly. I could Yeah, I can't even give him a small gift, which is interesting.
And I don't have any extra settlements because I want to keep all of these ones and take Lamia, and he's not up in this area, so. I could give Granite Massif to Ironbrow, though. If I take Mahrock. Oh, I'm not sure. I'll have to think on that. I'm just nervous about Krogard declaring war on me because I think he's done that in the past. So. And by past, I mean like the one time I played Kalita. I wasn't careful and I think Krogard declared war on me. And then I've played as Krogard and declared war on Kalita and she wrecked me. So tell me how that works out. So I may, I may um, just auto resolve this, which I know is a cop out. Okay, Arachnos, recruit 30 new units. I know, I know. All right, decisive victory, low casualties. I'm just gonna. I still took some casualties there though. Get 30 canopic jars. Okay. Oh, and he's got a whole other army there. Lovely. Just beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. Now, I could put growth in unit capacity. This is income, which I need. Does this also give me canopic jars? No. I thought there was one of these that gave me canopic jars. I don't see it, but I want the income, so I'm gonna throw it into income. The goddess wills it. Okay, Kalita. This must be she's big into sacking. I'm gonna just beef up her melee stats. Shall rise again. Now this one was a damage spell. This one is a buff spell. Physical resistance. I'm going to spread out his spells just to have something to play with. Okay, so this gives me the chariots, which... Oh, but the Screaming Skull Catapults is where I wanted to go. Or I could have a garrison. Or... Or should I give a gift to Krokgar? That does seem so stupid, but... Ready? You reflect the fate of all who tread dark paths. Ooh, Scarbrand is... Oh, he took Karag Orid. Which means... He would like to have Granite Massif. Which would be easy for me to give him. Mine will. This is the one that I'm putting income into, though. So if I take this out, I am getting 100 income from these two buildings. I would lose out on 50. But let's see how much he would give me for it. Because again, this is more about. Binding. 1,000, that's it. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. And instead, is it still 2k to give him a gift? 798. Okay. So we're gonna do that, and then I guess I could still put the income here like I was going to. Yeah, I'll do that. Yes. The gods I see. And I could also put income here, but it's a, there's a penalty, but or I could get carrion. I've never been a fan of carrion though. Or archers. You know, capacity for skeletal archers. I'll go income. Okay. 
So these guys are going to need three turns, which stinks. I don't want to wait three turns, but also... Edmund Jaeger is sitting there. Oh, who is this? There's an army behind me? Where did they come from? I must have missed them. So there's... Is that Scarbrand? Oh no, it's just this guy. It's just Ulmer. He's at the channeling stand, so that, like, that threw me off. Alright, so Edmund Jaeger is going after what? that territory. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Lee Barris is not going to be able to stand up against him. There's, like, no garrison there. So we're just going to be playing merry-go-round, unfortunately. But I might be able to draw him back if I start heading this way. I don't know. I think he's going to sack Liberus. That's my, that's my feeling is I think he's going to sack it. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Do not mistake me for the fool. But taking Le Lamia is going to be a challenge. Because if his army sweeps back, Lamia itself already has a pretty hefty garrison, probably just being like the capital building or the main settlement building. I figured as much. Alright, so they decided to settle it. Interesting. Is it hot? Asaf smiles on us. Valiant defeat. Is it a siege battle? Is that why? Tis. I don't want to siege because he's just going to come back. I'm thinking. And I'm just not sure how a siege battle is going to go. They do have some cavalry. Don't have the money for a garrison. So... Honestly, I don't know if a garrison really would do all that much for me anyway. Um, let's see, though. Arcade, what brings you to my mighty forge? Oh, so he would do a trade agreement, not aggression pact, and give me 600. That's, uh, that's almost worth it, honestly. Um... Or he'll give me 3,400 and a non-aggression pact. Okay, let's let's do this. And then Mahrock. He'll definitely want Mahrock. And this way, I'm running out of settlements. But I could beef up Doomglade or Resetra. I'm going to beef up Resetra. I think. Because I don't know if I'd have enough time to put a garrison up there anyway. Hopefully Krokgar and Thoric don't hate each other. Krakar is already strength rank 7. That's impressive. So he does like... Oh, he likes gifts. Okay. Well, whatever. At least Edmund Jaeger's army doesn't seem super scary. Like, he doesn't have any of the higher tier units. They're all just skeletons and zombies. He doesn't have any ranged abilities like I do. 
So I think if it comes down to a fight against him, I think I'll be okay. But the garrison here does have Graveguard and some Black Knights. So I want to be careful when fighting them. All right, so he's just going to let me siege him. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So, a tomb prince and necrotect and lich priest enter your throne room and offer themselves in your service. Now, I feel like... So, the necrotechs are good for the, like, construct units, which I don't have anything of right now. Tomb prince... Protect their kings while imbuing their battlefield units with experience and increasing control and campaign. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Lich Priest. What is he a Lich Priest of? Death. Interesting. Hinder replenishment. He sounds a little raspy. He failed. <laughs> well, he tried. He tried at least. Your victory. Definitely don't want to lose my Oshapti. I guess I'll continue sieging. This is not what I wanted to do. At least he is taking attrition, but he won't be as soon as he tries to come down towards Doomglade. Could get Ushapti building here, but... If he just takes it, then... What's the point there? Thorax here! Oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. I'm glad I'm friends with Thorax. is like a slow start even slower than I was anticipating this is what happens when you take a slow faction like the Tomb Kings and add a slow player like myself and then it just becomes extra slow meanwhile when I did my Icket Claw campaign I was trying to go from 0 to 60 in like 4 turns so that was a thing okay so boy uh. Should I try to fight this? This is this would be a big battle. Truly though, the ones I'm scared of would be the Black Knights, probably the Grave Guard. These are just skeletons. Should I try to fight it? I could try to fight it. I just don't have a ton of time. But if it goes long, it goes long, right? Alright, I'm going to save it because I may have to reload. I'm going to save it right here and then we'll fight it and see what we can do. Alright, so the reinforcements are coming in from that side. I've got... I don't have as many uh, archers as I thought I did. I'm kind of on a downhill spiral thing here, but that's alright. I always set up in like a checkerboard formation, but I never really know why. I don't know why I do it.
Okay, so I got another spear unit. And then... I'm gonna put my Nehekara warriors out front. And then I also have skeletal horse archers and one more spearman. I'm gonna stick them back here just in case I, they come in from the behind. These guys are vanguard. I'm gonna stick them in the vanguard. Oh, my Shabti. I forgot about you, Shabti. So these guys have a speed of 76. The chariots are 74, so a little bit slower. Skeleton chariots are anti infantry. I wonder if I can circle from behind. I think I am going to skirmish these guys, though. Got one minute left. Bracing to meet me, they kind of are. Uh oh, uh oh, we're gonna get charged. Oh no. Not what I expected. Did not want my chariots to go up against their horses. Not not at all what I had planned to do there. And now I'm stuck. Where's their grave guard? Where's that? Crashed into my Nehekara warriors. See if I can charge in from the side.
Here's the grave guard unit. These guys are dying. So are my chariots. Oopsie. Okay, fell bats are hopefully not going to be an issue. Beef them up. Yeah, this is why I can't play with chariots, because they die. They're crumbling. Okay, I was crumbling, maybe. Critical binding. Alright, hold your fire. Physical resistance on these guys. I said to stop. Let's have our chariots come in. See if I can charge in from behind here. That does a little bit of damage. Okay, these guys are crumbling, so. So is their grave guard. Wait, no, I don't want to go after their dogs. <laughs> I've done that before and that didn't go well. Problem is I'm going to be out of ammo before I even do anything with the other, with the incoming army, so... Have these guys be like this. There's so many zombies. I want to try to split them up. Okay, and then you got fire at will again, yes. Okay, not that one. I want the missile damage. He a melee expert? I can't tell. Yes, it does say melee expert. Uh oh. Uh oh. I didn't do my job. Skirmish. I can't skirmish with them. Darn it.
gosh, I used my last blow up thing. It says it's good against melee, guys. All right, one of my units has used all their ammunition. If I can get these guys to come crash into this line, that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Do not want them fighting the Ushabti. I want them to get back. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Ah! Stop. Belay that order. Do they get hit with a spell? Must be. Uh-oh, my front line died. Ah! Oh. What are you guys doing? Come here. Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble selecting my units. The Hikara guys are doing okay. These guys, I want you to back it up. All right, they're crumbling. Can I have you guys charge from behind there? Throw my Ushabti boys here. This guy's tank. Oh, his melee attack is 94. That's why he's really buffing up. Uh, how do I get you guys to charge in here? All right, they're crumbling, kind of. There we go. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. Oh, my chariots are almost dead. They're crumbling. Well, that's why you don't have chariots, guys. Close victory. Probably could have been worse. She killed 220, even though she's a duelist who says isn't good against, like, all those guys. Apparently she's good enough. I did lose the Spearman unit. I knew that was going to happen. And this Chariot unit, I'm pretty sure I lost as well. We got some good kill numbers here. The only problem is if they... If he didn't fully die. You know what I mean? Like, some of his units still survived and he can attack again, but I'll see. Oh, so I saved my chariot somehow. Don't know how that happened. Also, he's not still alive, so that's good. My okay, so. Burial, casualty replenishment rate, and leadership or canopic jars. I kind of need the casualty replenishment rate right now. Um, ooh, I got a horse for him. That's good. Okay. Because 
we're gonna have to take Libaris. Also, the spearman dying does open up a slot for this guy to join the army, so that kind of worked out well. And... Bring me Neferata's All right, with one turn, I will be able to replenish a little bit and leveled up twice, so that's good. What's this? Embalmed and elixir hit points and fire resistance. Ceremonial bandages. Hit points is probably 213 fire resistance. I'm not really fighting anybody with fire. And I already have 25% fire resistance and then minus 15, so it's like 10%. I'm going to go with this stuff instead. Melee defense and whatever tomb strike is. Ooh, can cause terror. We'll do that. What's up, come on. And then we'll give you this, an evasion. Boom. My and then she's just going to stay here. And ooh, Lamia. We've got so many slots. It's beautiful. Should I put them up to tier two? Probably because I can't even get a garrison till tier two. So that's probably the wise thing to do. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Here. Still can't afford that. Growth is probably good. Income, actually, here wouldn't be too bad, since I lost out on income at the other place. How much, Thoric, would you give me for Mahrak? Unbet. You reflect the fate of all who tread dark paths. 2200. Alright, I didn't realize this was going this long, so I'm going to just hurry up and end my turn. We won't give that to Thoric just yet, because I feel like I can squeeze more money out of him, so... We'll see what Evo does. Evo Vizu Bissendorf. It's a bummer that they took Libaris from me because otherwise he wouldn't have a home territory and that would be a little more impactful, but it is what it is. He wants peace. No, Count Yuld. No. Because Libaris is in my name. I can't not have Libaris, so. All right, so all of that. Oh, lovely beastmen. All right, well, that's going to be the, the end of part two of High Queen Kalita. Got some battle action in there, and then hopefully next time we can wipe out the Silver Host. And, oh, this guy just came back. Lovely. But anyway, we will deal with that next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you'll come back and see me in the next one.